welcome to the second part of open educational resources we have seen what oer is what are the benefits of oer and what it, what has enabled open educational resources in previous video in this video we are going to see what are the characteristics of oer what are the types of oer and going to see some great oer resources just pause the video and recollect the definition of oer in your own words and write it down in your notebook characteristics of oer are defined with the help of these five r's that is revise remix reuse redistribute and retain so the open educational resources we can download and we can revise as per our need we can remix them as per our need for example i download a video i download a presentation and i download some images so i can remix all those open educational resources to suit my purpose i can reuse that particular video or that particular text that particular image for educational purpose i can redistribute those resources to my students to my colleagues if i want i can download and retain those open educational resources so simply using remixing adapting creating finding as per the need and sharing with others these are the characteristics of open educational resources there are different types courses oer and oer can be a complete course which is offered free of cost it can be a module it can be learning objects it can be textbooks it can be videos it can be quiz or test banks it can be images it can be software it can be articles and so on can you recollect what are the characteristics and types of oer just pause the video and write the characteristics characteristics and types of oer that you learnt now so there are certain oer resources or the examples of oer which i have listed i have, I have taken as it is from the creativecommons.org you can go there and find out the list so for general search google is there but cc search is giving you all the resources which are under creative commons for photo and images these are the resources for videos youtube is there vimeo is there internet archive is there ted is there for audio these are the resources for general educational search open educational resources commons that is oer commons is the great source where you can get so many courses so many videos available for recorded lectures and video tutorials mit is the great source mit open course where you will get all the resources topic wise and domain wise khan academy is well known to us where you will get all the resources free of cost open l courses is another example open learn this is also a great source of oers academic earth the greatest source of oer you will get where you will get all kinds of material of all the domains for textbooks these are the resources for modular courses modular components is just simply there are different components different modules which we can collect and create our own course so these are the resources you can simply go and find out more information there for complete courses edx.org which is a mooc platform that is massive open online course platform where you will get different courses available coursera.org is another mooc platform where around 1800 plus courses from world's best universities are available where you can subscribe those courses and uh, uh, learn the information complete courses these are the other examples for textbooks wikibooks is there for open access journals this is the directory of open access journal where you will get the journal articles available rmit is a global university which is providing different open educational resources in different domains oer movement in india india has also has started open access these days with the aim of advocating open access open data and open education in india there are different resources available which we can use for different purposes nptel is one of the examples of moocs in india so this is the national program on technology enhanced learning initiative by seven indian institutes of technologies and indian institute of science for creating course contents in engineering and science nmeict 
is also one of the great example of MOOC. IIT Bombay X is uh, another uh, MOOC platform, OER platform where the courses are offered for the development of the teachers. So the principle of this IIT Bombay X is non-profit open source platform and it has one more great uh, aim that is collaborative efforts. Swayam is another platform launched by Government of India for program of MHRD Government of India for professors, uh, professors of centrally funded institutes like IITs and MITs, central universities and they are offering different courses for the citizens of India. So these are some of the examples of OERs. Just pause the video and write down any three OER resources that are mentioned previously and mention what kind of OER materials are available on each. So what we have seen is about OER, concept and definition benefits of OER, what has enabled OER, what are the characteristics of OER, what are the types of OER and some of the great sources of OER. So thank you very much for watching this video. I am much thankful to IIT Bombay for providing me this opportunity because this is this activity is a part of FDP on mentoring educators in educational technology conducted by IIT Bombay. Thank you very much for watching.